right, what's up YouTube? So I'm hoping at this angle y'all are able to see this uh, female bloom in front of me, um, in front of us. But uh, so I've, I've been speaking of this hand pollination technique where um, I uh, come out before the flowers open so I don't have to cover them with these uh, organza bags here. I normally you cover the flowers with the organza bags. And, um, so I don't do that anymore. So I come out right before they open because they always open after sunrise. So I come out right before sunrise and um, I, I did hit all of the male blooms. I collect them into organza bag, um, however many male blooms there may be. And then I walk around the plants and I find what's left, and, which is the female blooms, if there's any. And um, I open up the female blooms. I pollinate them with about two or three flowers. And then I come in, I, I grab the top of the petals. I pinch those closed, because the female bloom should be a little bit open. Uh, I pinch those closed. I put that tie on there and um, it keeps it closed. So you want to be gentle with it. Um, I accidentally tore this bloom just now. Um, so I'm gonna put a second tie on there just so I can seal it. And then I'm gonna pick the camera up and um, show y'all the end result. But I hope the camera was able to catch that whole process just now. These uh, and you always, the, the part of the flower that you're pollinating, you will always wanna put the tie, you wanna make sure the tie is positioned above that. So it should always be at the edge of the petal. You'll see what I mean. Put that second tie and seal that part where I ripped that so no creepy crawlers get in there and start eating the pollen or mixing the pollen. So here is the Alibaba watermelon flower. Um, you can see I pinched it. The flower closed at the top of it. Right here is where the uh, pollen is and what I was pollinating. So if you pinch it closed right here, you'll uh, your risk damaging um, what allows the fruit to set, basically. So, yeah, that's how I, I do my pollinations now. I just pinch them closed like that, and I'll show you how it looks once the melon starts growing. So the Alibaba vines, they're doing quite well. They're growing everywhere, but on the weed mat. <laughs> Illinois. I've been having some great success with uh, the Illinois variety. So this is a recent technique that I started doing about a week and a half ago. So you can see this still has the clip on and um, well, it just fell off, but not like it's needed anymore. It's only needed for the first 24 hours. But um, you can collect these and reuse them. And it, it keeps that bloom sealed. So this, I hand pollinated this one. You can see how large it is. Uh, this one here looks like it's not developing. Back there. And that was an open pollination. Cause this one isn't marked with the uh, zip tie. Here's a hand pollinated one right here, a little bit larger. Uh, see, this is this is how, how this is how big the flowers normally are. Uh, this one here um, isn't growing, so I'm gonna assume this one didn't uh, set fruit. So I'm gonna take these off. And I, I like to uh, come through and if, if I see something didn't uh, set fruit or whatnot, I like to clean it up so I'm not distracted by things that aren't there, you know? So I'll be, I'll come around looking for a melon that isn't here. So this one here, uh, I'm gonna leave it just to see what it does. But yeah, that's basically what I do. And in the morning, I literally um, did hit all the male blooms. Like I already done, I already pollinated my Illinois X. I got many of these, so I'm not worried about doing these, but I just did hit all the blooms. I put them into those organza bags and I did hit the blooms right before they, uh, like right before they open. I come out at, uh, right before sunrise and I did hit the blooms and I wait till sunrise and I find the female, 
I go back and uh, find the female blooms, which I cover with the uh, organza bags early in the morning, but I don't do it the, uh, the night before. So yeah, guys, it's an excellent way to hand pollinate, saves time, um, and it helps you find the flowers that you're looking for. Okay. Yeah, everything's growing well for me right now. I'm with my uh, no dig, no till method that I'm using. It's another larger Illinois. The more water I put down, the bigger these things grow, I tell you that. I'm gonna walk around and finish um, my little morning chores. I did my pollination for the day. That Alibaba watermelon, I'm happy about that one because I didn't know it was gonna be ready. This thing is just, <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a big old, uh, it's huge. It's at least uh, four or five pounds. We're taking on different shapes. So it's gonna be exciting to save seed from all these different shapes. This is the most symmetrical one so far. So this is gonna be my champion melon. This one is super symmetrical. All of the other ones weren't uh, as symmetrical as this one. All right, y'all, so that's my hand pollination video of my new little pollination technique. See y'all in the next one. Hopefully it'll be a harvest. It's all Illinois from here to there. Illinois wake red seeded watermelon.